Hi guys, welcome to another video. It's Baz here. So, we're about to head back to the conventional gym, just like the last video. Uh, back in at the CrossFit gym tomorrow for the whole week. I'm back doing regular vlogs. Gym bag here, kitted out. And someone asked me in the last video because the, the bag was uh, kind of in the forefront whilst I was snatching. What is in that bag? Uh, like what do you take to a, a gym session? So, I'll touch on that later, after the gym session, and we'll go through what's in the bag of goodies. <laughs> So the workout I went for today is 21.59 calories on the rower and then burpees over the rower. This is a kind of like a staple CrossFit workout. Everyone's probably given this a go if you do CrossFit. And it's one of those ones you can do in a conventional gym, which is why we chose it here. It doesn't take up too much room. It doesn't bother anyone. So this is what we went for. Um, these rowers we're using here are actually rope rowers. So there was a lot of slip each time you pulled, um, which you don't get from a chain rower. So, you know, it was kind of a disadvantage there, but I still ended up with a personal best time. I haven't tried this one since the very first time I kind of went to, to CrossFit this year. So yeah, 21 calories and then 21 burpees over the rower. It has to be a two foot takeoff and a two foot landing, which you'll see uh, coming up just now. Now, uh, the key with this one is if you can get this, this workout done under 10 minutes, you've done pretty well. Uh, if you get it done under 8, you've done very well. And then I think a very good time to go for is if you can get a sub minute, uh, sub 7 minute work, uh, time on this, you've done very, very well. So this is what I see what I mean here is a 2 foot takeoff and 2 foot landing. I'm on the left here and each time I kind of face the rower and Harry's technique there of kind of facing forward the whole time is probably a bit better. It saves a bit of time and he actually manages to catch me up on the on these 21 burpees. But yeah, so that's the kind of basis on this workout. Give it a try and post your comment, uh, your time in the comments below, and uh, we'll see how we all do and we'll compare. But yeah, I'll let this, uh, I'll let this play out now and enjoy the rest of the video once you finish watching the workout. So we came in today, we did a, a normal structure, warm up, mobility, strength work, metcon, and then some stretching to finish. Uh, first time kind of doing a more cardio based metcon there. That was 2159 burpees over the rower, calories mm -hmm. on the rower. It's like a staple crossfit workout, a lot of people do that often, so how did you find that one? I think I played more of strengths than the, um, the last one. Yeah, it wasn't, uh, wasn't as bad as the last one. Um, definitely a good cardio workout for me. Um, something that I think I could keep working on and improving as well. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, it's a pretty good workout. It's, uh, it's meant to be a fast and sharp one. It's meant to be kind of like a baby workout with the, the roar as you rest. But it doesn't work out being like that when your legs are proper sore. So no. <laughs> you did, did squats yesterday Yeah, as well, I did legs so. yesterday and uh, the squat thrusts part of the burpees was uh, burning. Definitely. The strength work and recorded, we did uh, overhead press, superset with weighted pull-ups, uh, five sets of three, uh, all of which were heavy. Um, and now I'm going to shoot off home, get some tea, yeah. and we'll Post probably, we'll probably get, another, um, get another CrossFit session in soon, I guess. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Let's do it. Just smash the battle up as well. You can get the battle ups in the description. Toodle pep. Have a have a fabulous evening. I will. Getting the shades on. Look, I have proper cool kid. 
See you later. So that's the session finished. I'm gonna head back now. Uh, we'll go through what I have in my bag as well once I get back in. So if you clicked on the video for that reason, don't worry, we are gonna go through that. Don't panic. So I decided for an evening meal, oats and a protein shake was not gonna cut it. But we knocked up a little meal here, a tin of tuna with some light mayonnaise. Just gonna mix this up, throw it on a wrap. I have received a parcel from Design to Eat. Um, nice little uh, much brownie love, nice little message there on the back. But I'm gonna unwrap that tomorrow. But if you, for now, if you wanna look at the Design to Eat website, that is in the description. And you can get 10% off with the code, which is also in the description. Um, the food you eat nice. You saw me unbox it in my unboxing video. But yeah, we'll look at that pop package tomorrow. We'll have this now. And then we'll take a look at what on earth I have in this gym bag and why it's so full. Okay, let's quickly set out and run through what I actually have in this bag. And what I usually take with me to pretty much most CrossFit sessions. So my staple is, if I am traveling and things like that, I will still take these with me. It is uh, my choice of nanos, which is the nano 6 at the minute. I'm only recently just upgraded to these. Uh, but that's like, if I'm going traveling, all I'll take with me is a jump rope and these. That's pretty much all I'll take. They've got quite a good heel to toe kind of raise, so they're pretty good for lifting still. So that's kind of my go-to. I also pack quite often a foam roller. So I take this with me if I've got a bit of luggage room. Um, always in a gym bag or always at a gym that I'm going to. Big water bottle. I've touched on this quite a lot recently. Two liter water bottle, I try and drink at least two of these a day. Um, not necessarily in my gym bag, but it's kind of always with me. Lifters. So, these I won't take with me if I'm traveling. But, um, I'll take if I'm just going to my, my regular my regular gym. Uh, the reason is, that big raise there in the heel makes it uh, not, not necessarily easier, but gives it, puts it in a better position to, to do squat movements. So, if I'm overhead squatting, front squatting, back squatting, uh, that kind of thing, or even the Olympic lifts, I'll always wear these. So they're pretty key in my bag, and uh, yeah, they do they do help a little bit with the uh, with the Olympic lifting. I've also recently sort of include uh, this Toro Pro tape. I haven't actually used it yet, but it's in my bag there just in case I feel like uh, giving it a go one day. Now I have two lifting belts in my bag. One a kind of a lever lifting belt, which is screwed into position depending on what size you are and and it's pretty loose there but then when you're ready to lift clamp it in and that's really tight and it gives you a lot of support so i'll use that if i'm like seriously going for like a one rep max and then i'll also have this one which is like a velcro a quick release but i'll wear it during a wad where i need a bit of support for maybe like 21 deadlifts and then i need to loosen it off for a run that kind of thing spare pair of socks vital this is great for the hand protection for when working on the bars so um, I put these in my bag I don't always use them I try and uh, build my calluses up properly but sometimes when I'm doing a high rep range of toaster bar for example then I'll wear these um, yeah I find these pretty good a journal to keep track of what I'm actually doing each day so this is where I'll log things and then I can compare in the future to make sure I'm actually making some progress and then wrist wraps, wrist supports. Now I'll use this if I'm going to do some uh, thrusters, for example. I'll do use wrist wraps, um, maybe jerks, things like that, just to you know protect the wrist a little bit more, uh, give the wrist a bit more support, pretty much. Uh, so yeah, I use these. These aren't any particular brand. It doesn't really matter. It's just a wrist support. Liquid chalk. I prefer actual chalk. I only use liquid chalk if the place available. Uh, the place doesn't have a uh, regular chalk available. Now, even though I wear a Fitbit, I do sometimes get the heart rate, like chest strap and watch, um, if I want something a bit more accurate. Now, this is more if I'm uh, tracking properly for a reason or making sure I'm in the in the correct cardio zone and go for a longer run and things like that. So that's why that's in there. It's not often used. So that pretty much wraps up some, what's in my gym bag, and that's why. It always looks so full. I'm going to wrap this video up right here and we'll pick it up tomorrow um, unpacking that design to eat box like I said earlier. So I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up and of course check out the rest of the vlogs and subscribe. Catch you guys soon.